Check it, check it, check it. Welcome to Street Flames Crew. Yeah, today we got Quando Rondo. Apparently, he had a bond here in the day, and the DA was not here. The DA was all on his top. The DA so called got all his news on, all his information on him. Somehow, he's a threat to the community. He was at the movie theater with his daughter, allegedly, and. He called his gang because it was 111 gang members at the movie theaters waiting on him. I don't know what they talking about. But they, but he, he slipped up and said, that's just 16 gang members. That's not everybody that's on the indictment. So it looked like it's about to be another sweep. Oh, man, let me know what y'all think. The Rolling 60s are currently one of the largest and most violent street gangs in Savannah. That man is the leader of them. That is a danger to the community. We also heard the defense talk about he was buying weed. He was buying. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was buying it from the plug, and they're buying massive amounts of it. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. He wasn't buying personal use. This wasn't, I'm going to have fun this weekend. No. They were bringing in pounds of marijuana to Chatham County for distribution. So, yes, you can't distribute marijuana until you purchase it. So, yes, he was negotiating the prices of marijuana to then sell. We ask that you deny bond. He's a risk, risk to intimidation witnesses. And, again, the charges stripped away from whatever Mr. Bowman does for a living. If we look at him as the leader of the rolling 60s, which he is, and we look at the charges and the threats to the community with the guns, that alone is enough to keep him in. He's a flight risk because he has funds available to him. He travels regularly to Atlanta. He spent time in other parts of the country. We have where he's in Los Angeles and in different parts of the country. He is a flight risk to leave this area. Yes, there might be many people here who support him, but he has the ability to leave this jurisdiction. Is he a threat to the community and property? Yes, Your Honor. The calls that we have show that Mr. Bowman, while at a movie with his daughter, made a phone call to other gang members, other Rolling 60 gang members, and said, there are 1,100 members up here, 1,100 is the opposition, and said, bring your guns here. Risk intimidation witnesses, and again, the charges stripped away from whatever Mr. Bowman does for a living. If we look at him, that is a dangerous community. When you have people coming to a movie theater bringing yeah, guns, yeah. yes, ma'am, that is the language that's in the indictment. When they say bring the guns, that's what he was saying. Bring guns to a movie theater because my opponents are here. That's a danger to the community, Your Honor. I do have that. I understand. The next one, which the defense was mentioned, that he was saying don't have guns in, my, in the car. That's true. He did say, don't have guns when you pick me up. Because he's a convicted felon, he can't be in a car with guns. That doesn't mean that he still doesn't have people come with guns when he needs it to be. And again, that's been alleged in the accusation, in, in the indictment. He is, is a risk to the community. He is also a risk to influence witnesses. There are not 18 other co-defendants on this case. These are fellow gang members. Most of them, some haven't been charged with it, but the majority of them are fellow gang members. We have him as a leadership role, as leadership. That is a dangerous condition.